Bonaparte Crossing the Alps is an 1850 oil-on-canvas portrait of Napoleon Bonaparte, by French artist Paul de la Roche. The painting depicts Bonaparte leading his army through the Alps on a mule, a journey Napoleon and his army of soldiers made in the spring of 1800, in an attempt to surprise the Austrian army in Italy. As part of his 1798 campaign during the French Revolutionary Wars, Napoleon prepared to invade and conquer Egypt, which was at the time a province of the Ottoman Empire. Such a military action promised numerous benefits, including securing French trade interests and inhibiting British access to India. By July 1, 1798, Napoleon had landed on the shores of Egypt. After a lengthy chain of conflicts with heavy casualties, the campaign resulted in an Ottoman-British victory. Napoleon received news from France that Austrian forces had retaken Italy, and he decided to return to Paris. In order to regain the upper hand, he planned to launch a surprise assault on the Austrian army stationed in the Cisalpine Republic. Based on the assumption the Austrians would never expect Napoleon's large force to be able to traverse the Alps, he chose that as his route. He selected the shortest route through the Alps, the Great St. Bernard Pass, which would enable him to reach his destination as quickly as possible. Following his crossing of the Alps, Napoleon commenced military operations against the Austrian army. Despite an inauspicious start to the campaign, the Austrian forces were driven back to Marengo after nearly a month. There, a large battle took place on June 14, which resulted in the Austrian evacuation of Italy. The work was inspired by Jacques-Louis David's series of five Napoleon Crossing the Alps paintings 1805. David's works also show Napoleon's journey through the Great St. Bernard Pass, but there are significant stylistic differences between the two conceptions. De La Roche's Napoleon is cold and downcast, whereas David's wears a pristine uniform and is idealized as a hero. De La Roche was commissioned to paint a realistic portrait, the style of which was emerging at the time. While the painting largely represented and was one of the pioneers of an emerging style, the work was criticized by several authorities on the subject. The reasons for this varied from de la Roche's depiction of the scene to a general disapproval of de la Roche himself. Many of those who were in the latter state of mind felt that de la Roche was trying to match the genius of Napoleon in some way, and had failed miserably in doing so.